So today we're going to talk about the state of vehicles on Experimental Branch. Please keep in mind that vehicles are still work in progress, which includes vehicle physics and vehicle position desync. Also, there may have been additional improvements by the time you're watching this video. With that being said, you may remember how vehicles behaved the last time you encountered them on Stable Branch. Before, while driving a vehicle solo, performance for the most part was acceptable. Then while hitching a ride as passenger, the experience could become quite unbearable, with massive amounts of desync and rubber banding. While on the latest build of 0.61 experimental build, rubber banding as a passenger is still present, but great improvement has been made to when a vehicle meets another vehicle in Chernerus. I'm sure many of you would remember in previous iterations of Stable when vehicles were present, driving down the road and knowing when another vehicle was around, as your vehicle would become very unresponsive and sometimes the game would come to a halt altogether. This being due to massive amounts of desync and server performance issues, I'm glad to say that on the latest build of Experimental Branch that we tested vehicles on, this has been greatly improved. Myself, joined by Lukic and Hepsky as always, managed to get a couple of vehicles and test driving together. While some vehicle position desync was present, driving vehicles within the vicinity of each other is now very much possible. I noticed an increase in positional desync and rubber banding as the vehicles got closer together, but it is indeed not far off parity with ARMA 2 vehicle behavior. On the 0.61 experimental build we tested vehicles on, over a period of time, performance on the client side would gradually get worse. Restarting the client would restore performance back to normal, but this issue would then repeat itself again. That being said, since publishing this video, there has been another experimental update aimed at fixing FPS drop issues. So while being very impressed with vehicle performance thus far on Experimental Branch, I captured a little bit of footage of nighttime driving, showing off dashboard lights and dynamic shadows from the headlights. You gotta love those dynamic shadows. But past all that, as mentioned before, a lot of the issues with DayZ in its current state is due to legacy technology. Having to wait till beta, where most of the new technology are being implemented into DayZ's Infusion engine, which should greatly improve many aspects of gameplay. I'm mainly mentioning this because of the vehicle collision physics. Of course, this could be greatly to do with the vehicle position desync issues that still remain, but while myself and Hepsky decided to have a little bit of a drag race with a sedan and the off-road, we then decided to test further with a little bit of a destruction derby. The vehicles began to sink inside each other and not actually hit each other, which would mainly suggest vehicle position desync issues still remain in this area, but I would like to see proper vehicle collision in future development. If not due mainly to the vehicle position desync, then maybe a new technology for the Infusion engine could allow this. With that being said, we do know the dev team have worked on new vehicle physics. All I can say about that is time will tell. So have you guys tested out the vehicle performance on the latest build of Experimental Branch? What do you think? Leave a comment below and let's talk about it. Remember to T-bone that like button, subscribe if you enjoy the content I make, and I'll see you peeps next time. <laughs> oh. oh no!